Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for your presence. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Indeed, it's in your name we see miracles. It's in your name we receive testimonies. It's in your name we see signs and wonders. For at the mention of the name Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord. Father, we thank you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for moving among us. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. amen and amen. Well, happy Resurrection Sunday morning to all of you. And you're welcome to our last service for the day, our fourth service. We thank God for his kindness. We thank God for what he's doing. Today is our special healing and communion service. Please prepare your communion elements if you haven't done so yet, uh, as we'll be partaking of that towards the end of the service. Amen. Are you ready for the word? Uh, turn with me, please, in your Bibles to the book of Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. Matthew chapter 10, verse 1. The Bible says that, And when he had called his twelve disciples to him, he gave them power over unclean spirits to cast them out and to heal all kinds of sicknesses and all kinds of diseases. And we are blessed by the reading of God's word. Um, continue and concluding the message I started this morning in our first service that I have titled The Healing Powers of Jesus. And this is part four. The Healing Powers of Jesus. And this is part four. Jesus is a healing Jesus because Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8 makes us to understand that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday today and forever and he continues to heal us he has never stopped healing and healing is still relevant and present in our days today and so it's important for us to know that when God promises to heal us he really meant it and so the scripture we read in Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 the Bible says and Jesus when he had called his 12 disciples to himself, he gave them power over unclean spirits. So that presupposes that from the very onset, we have been given power over every unclean spirit. We have been given supernatural power over every unclean spirit. And what do we do with that power? To cast out unclean spirits. Jesus has given us that power to cast out every unclean spirit and to heal all kinds of sickness and all kinds of diseases. So within these two categories, every kind of sickness and every kind of diseases comes under this tool. So that means we have power to cast out any unclean spirit and to heal all kinds of sickness and to heal all kinds of disease. And therefore, in the name of Jesus, I decree that today is your day of healing. Anything that has tormented you, you will be healed from them today in the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 8 verse 11, the Bible says, that, But if the same of the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. So please understand that the same resurrection power 
that resurrected the dead body of Jesus Christ, that same power dwells in you. I made an analogy in the second service or in the third service that assuming you are poor, you are not poor, you are a child of God, you are the most wealthiest person on the surface of the earth. All you need to know is have understanding of what Jesus did for you 2,000 years ago. So assuming you are poor and Jeff Bezos, the richest man in the world, moves his house, his address, and comes to live with you in your house, guess what? The moment he moves address and comes to live with you in your house and tells you, now everything I have is yours, from that day on forward, you have transition from poverty into prosperity. And so the Bible says, if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, dwells where? In you. Making the same, having the same address as you, dwelling in your spirit, dwells in you. It says, he who raised Christ from the dead will also, when you hear the word also, it means same thing is about to happen, will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who dwells in you. Why? Because that same spirit gave life to the dead bodies of Jesus Christ. The grave could not hold him. When the disciples came, they saw the big tomb that was rolled to cover his grave. They saw it rolled away and the angel, the Bible says, sat on it. Anything that has been heavy a tomb, a stone, whatever the devil has placed upon you, today it will be rolled away and it will be sat upon. The angel sitting upon that heavy stone, that heavy rock is a sign that he has overcome it, therefore you will overcome it. Listen, you are a spirit being. And as a spirit being, nothing can contain you. I said nothing can contain you. Your spirit cannot be sick. Have you heard that most of the time when people are sick and they, they say, they say uh, his, his spirit is, 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 is alive. His spirit is, is joyous. His spirit is strong. That's telling you that the spirit of the man is more powerful than his body. Are you following me? And today in the name of Jesus, you will be healed. Isaiah chapter 53 from verse 1 to 5. The Bible says, Who has believed our report? Who has believed our report? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Today the arm of the Lord will be revealed to you. You will know that God is able to heal in the name of Jesus. The hand of the Lord will be revealed to you. Like Nebuchadnezzar, you will see the hand of the Lord, the signs written on the wall. You will see the hand of God touch you today. You will testify that on Easter Sunday, on a resurrection Sunday, I was healed in the name of Jesus. So it says, whom has the hand of the Lord been revealed to? For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground my God as a root out of dry ground nothing can contain us we have the spirit of God hallelujah he has no form or comeliness and when we see him there is no beauty that he should desire him he is despised and rejected by men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and he, we, we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we did not esteem him. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, yet we esteem him stricken, 
smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Somebody say I am healed. Somebody say I am healed. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that you are healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because the healing power of God is flowing through you. Today is your healing day. Today is your day of receiving. Today is your day of breakthrough. Today is your day of testimonies. It doesn't matter what the doctors have said today. Jesus resurrected triumphantly 2,000 years ago. So today, your body will be quickened. Today, your body will be quickened. Any part of your body that is not responding to any form of treatment, I, I send the Spirit of God to that body right now to resurrect it from any form of deadness in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Matthew chapter 8 from verse 16 to 17. The Bible says that when evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. And he cast out the spirit with a word. He cast out the spirit with a word. Today all you need is one word from God. One word from God will heal you. One word of, from God will terminate that generational sickness and diseases. Yeah. One word from God will lift you out of the dust into a place of victory in the name of Jesus. What did Jesus do? He cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, he himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Jesus has taken it. You don't own it. You don't belong to that grave any longer. You are resurrected. You are alive forevermore in the mighty name of Jesus. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. The Bible says that who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness by whose stripes you were healed. Amen. Say amen to that. Amen. You were healed 2,000 years ago. Do you know that if I take you to a, a Mercedes-Benz showroom and I tell you that I have purchased for you a brand new Mercedes-Benz, the latest, paid for, and I take you there and I say, that's it. Take it and drive home. Do you know that it will be an irony to say, um, Pastor, thank you very much, but I want to pay for it again. And probably it will take you 100 years to work before you get money to be able to buy that car. I've already paid for it. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. Why are you going to now struggle, sweat, to pay for what I've already paid for? The Bible says Jesus Christ paid for your sicknesses and your diseases 2,000 years ago. By his stripes, you were healed. <laughs> By his stripes, you were healed. How long? 2,000 years ago. 1 Peter 2.24 By his stripes you were healed. Past tense. Not you are going to be healed. You were healed 2,000 years ago. So you have no business 
carrying that sickness along, saying, oh, you know, in my family we have diabetes. In my family we have arthritis. In my family we have migraine. It's a family thing. The devil is a liar. Stop confessing the negative. You belong to a new family now. You belong to the family of Jesus Christ. And in this family, there is no sickness. Can Jesus have migraine? No. Can Jesus have headache? No. Can Jesus have HIV AIDS? No no Can Jesus have coronavirus? No. No Can Jesus die? No. no. Can Jesus be on a on a on a bed hospital bed? No. no. Can Jesus be barren? No. What cannot be found in Jesus cannot be found in you. Because Jesus lives in you. I said Jesus lives in you. I said Jesus lives in you. you. He lives in me. He moves in me. I live in him. In him, the Bible says, in him we live and move and have our being. In him. Can God have a headache? No. Can God have a migraine? No. Why are you not answering? No. Are you here? Yeah. Or you are sleeping? No. Some of you are sleeping. Some of you are sleeping. <laughs> ah, do you see what we go through for four services? Some of you have just come back and you are sleeping already. <laughs> You are sleeping. You are sleeping on me. That's what you do in your houses. I see. You see, when I say you are sleeping, I can see that you are sleeping in your houses. Hallelujah. That's what we do. Four services, powerful, back to back. No sleeping. No sleeping. Glory be to God. So don't sleep now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't sleep now. Awake, oh ye sleeper. Awake. <laughs> awake, awake. Glory be to God. So today is your day of healing. Because in this family, we don't fall sick. In this family, we don't lose anything. In this family, we don't fall sick. In this family, we don't sleep on sick bed. We only go to the hospital to have babies. That's what we do in this family. We only go to the hospital to do what? To have babies. Babies and come back. One day we are out. Like the Hebrew women. We give birth one day, pump. We don't sleep on the hospital bed two, three days. You have to understand who we are in this lineage. At the beginning of this crisis, I said no one will be missing in our midst. No one will have any COVID. Some people came so close to it so close but thank God they are still alive they are alive today they are praising God today because no one can die through this in this commission no one we only go at a good old age Matthew chapter 55 from verse 8 to 11 sorry Isaiah chapter 55 from verse 8 to 11. God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but water the earth, and make it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, 
and bread to the eater, so shall my word be, my God. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please. And it shall prosper in the things which I sent it. What is God saying? God is saying that when it comes to healing, his ways are not your ways. Don't expect him to heal you in a particular way. As a matter of fact, as I'm speaking now, he's already healed you. Some of you this week, Tuesday, you go to the hospital and you go and do a test to confirm your healing status. Just to confirm your healing status. Does it mean God cannot do it without you confirming it? Yes, he can do it. But you going back to the hospital is just a sign to let the devil know that God indeed has healed you. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I decree that you are healed now. Never to be sick again. The Bible says that so shall my word be. That means when the word of God goes forth, the word goes to prosper in whatsoever it's sent forth. Right now, I'm sending the word to prosper you in healing. I said, I'm sending the word to prosper you in healing. So you are healed. Psalm 107 verse 20. The Bible says that he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Any sickness that is trying to destroy you and your family, today you are healed from it. I said today you are healed from it in the name of Jesus. Finally, as we close, Matthew chapter 8, verse 5 to 10. Matthew chapter 8, from verse 5 to 10. The Bible says that now when Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him pleading with him saying, Lord, my servant is lying home paralyzed, dreadfully tormented. And Jesus said to him, I will come and heal him. Please understand that. That's very important. So look at God's heart desire towards us. God always wants us healed. Jesus said, I will come and heal him. Now I want you to understand that this man that is asking Jesus to come and heal his servant, he's not even a Christian. He's not a believer. But Jesus said, he will come and heal him. This is very important. Then notice what the centurion said. The Bible says that, And the centurion answered and said to Jesus, Lord, I am not worthy that you come or that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be healed. Only do what? Only speak a word. Only speak a word. How will your healing be manifest? Through just the spoken word. Only speak a word and my servant will be healed. There's now in the Bible says, he said, for I am also a man under authority, having soldiers under me. I say to this one, go, and he goes. I say to another, come, and he comes, and my servant, and to my servant, come, and he come. Do this, and he does it. And when Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to those who followed him, assuredly, I say to you, I have not found such great faith, not even in Israel. Not even in Israel, not even in the church. So that means even outsiders or outsiders in the church, outsiders, those who are outside of the church, have more faith than those who are in the church. That's sad, isn't it? Those who are outside of the church, (laughs) <laughs> have more faith than those who are in the church. What did the centurion say? Only send the word. 
You see, many Christians are like uh, Naaman. They are like Naaman who says, doesn't Elisha know who I am? Can he not just come and put his hand on me? Many Christians are waiting for the pastor to come and put. No, we don't lay hands. We send a, we send the word. We send the word and you are healed. Amen. You will be healed today of every sickness, of every disease in the name of Jesus. It's not going to be by might, neither will it be by power, but it will be by the spirit of God. For in the realm of the spirit, there is no distance. So therefore, in the name of Jesus, I decree right now you are healed. I said you are healed. Amen. You are healed of tuberculosis. Amen. You are healed of COVID-19. You are healed of cancer. Amen. You are healed of migraine. Amen. You are healed of backache. Amen. Receive your instant healing right now. Amen. Receive your instant healing right now. Receive your instant healing right now in the name of Jesus any evil spirits tormenting you right now in the name of Jesus I cast them out I rebuke them to leave you you are free from today any mental health receive healing right now receive healing from mental health receive healing right now from mental health in the name of Jesus receive healing receive healing in your body receive healing in your back receive healing in your bones any broken bones are healed right now in the name of Jesus any any back back ache constant back ache you are healed from it right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus because Jesus is a healing Jesus he has the power to heal you he has what it takes to heal you you are healed you are healed you are healed come on rejoice come on stand on your feet and begin to declare i am healed i am healed begin to declare it i am healed begin to declare it i am healed you are healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet you are healed right now you are healed you are healed somebody is is having issues of the blood constant blood flowing you are healed right now you are healed right now in the name of jesus that blood flow stops today it stops today it stops right now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus now for everyone on all the various platforms on Zoom on YouTube on Facebook on our church website solutionchapel.org right now wherever you are receive your healing I said receive your healing in the name of Jesus now for those of you standing in the gap for your family members I pray right now in the name of Jesus receive your instant healing now I decree it so I call it done you will never be sick again I rebuke that infirmity I rebuke that diseases I rebuke it I rebuke it I rebuke mental somebody is suffering from mental health mental health I rebuke that demonic power that demonic oh somebody the devil is trying to take hold of your mind and deceiving you to commit suicide you will not die you will live to declare the glory of God you will not die you will live to declare the glory of God I rebuke Rebuke that stronghold right now. I rebuke that stronghold right now in the name of Jesus. I decree you are free. 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 Somebody is free from asthma right now. 
you are free from asthma every asthmatic attacks i release you from it i rebuke it in the name of jesus no more inhalers for you no more inhalers you are free you are free you are delivered in the name of jesus one of our members when she came to the church many years ago many years ago she was taking over if i'm not exaggerating over 50 different tablets a day over 50 50 different tablets a day <laughs> and i preached a simple message and said he himself took from that day she stopped taking she was healed of everything Think, do you know do you know how cumbersome it is to take different tablets 50 a day I'm not exaggerating she has tablets uh, uh, containers different, different ones different tablets every day I don't want to mention her name but she testified publicly today she's free from all those tablets what am I saying Jesus is a healing Jesus and the same anointing that Jesus used to heal 2000 years ago is still on this service till forever for all the people watching live now you are all healed for those who watch later the millions who watch later they will all be getting healed the healing will be hearing testimonies till Jesus comes we'll be hearing testimonies various testimonies from this commission of diverse kinds of healings in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we call it done in Jesus name now we are going to partake of the communion before we partake of the communion if you are not born again say with me Lord Jesus I come to you just as I am forgive me of my sins write my name in your book of life may I serve you all the days of my life from today I have decided to follow you no turning back in Jesus name Amen and amen. Well, take your bread in your house. Take your bread. That bread is now the body of Christ. The body of Christ. Take and eat. This communion is sealing your healings. It is sealing your healing. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? it seals your healing that means you can never be sick again for life you can never be sick again in the name of jesus the blood of jesus take and drink it is done in jesus name Father, we thank you for perfecting your healing in the lives of your people. On this Easter Sunday, give them unprecedented testimonies. Let them testify that you heal them. Because Jesus, you are our healer, not man. You are our healer. I am not the healer. Jesus is the healer. Therefore, Lord, receive all the glory. We have vowed to give you all the glory. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. It's done. It's done. It's done. Let's give Jesus some praise. It is done. Amen. And amen. Well, we've come to the end of our service. 
It's come very, very quick. It's finished quick. For all the people who haven't been joining, who have come back, hopefully today will be the last day they are sleeping. They will never sleep again. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Well, we love you all. If you have received any form of healing, please send your testimonies. Remember, the healing belongs to you, but the testimony belongs to God. The testimonies you don't share, you lose it. So if you don't testify, you're going to lose that testimony. And we don't want you to lose that testimony. Amen. So let's testify and give God all the glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, um, this Thursday, we are back to our midweek service. This Thursday, we are continuing with our praise for divine intervention. You don't want to miss it. Praise for divine intervention. Bring, bring every letter, every letter you have, any negative letter, whatever you are believing God for, bring those letters. Bring it in the live stream. Put it by you. And you're going to see God manifest breakthroughs in your life. I'm telling you, uh, there are some dangerous testimonies that have started coming in. Some of them we can't share, but hopefully towards the end of the month, we'll share one or two with you. Because some people cannot handle. We see, when, when we give you specifics, instructions, follow them. To obey is better than sacrifice. As a testimony that has come through that when we share it with you, you will be shocked. You will never believe it. But it's the truth. That's what God can do. You see, because praise is a mystery. Praise is the only thing God cannot do for himself. And so whenever we praise him, he comes down to inhabit the praise, the praises of his people. So let's praise him this Thursday. Don't miss it. 6.30 p.m. You will really be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, I hope you were blessed during the Easter convention. Pastor Zama preached powerfully. Uh, Thursday, Friday, and uh, Saturday. I hope you were blessed. Were you blessed? Were you blessed? Yes. Awesome. Awesome. We were blessed. And uh, we thank God, Pastor Anthony and Mrs. Moyes also come back uh, to start their, their jobs uh, that they have left for all this while during the lockdown. Uh, I want you to send me feedback on how they are doing, whether they are still <laughs> in line with <laughs> what they are doing or they are, they are, whether, when, whether they have reduced our standard or they have maintained it or <laughs> taken it back. If they have not, please let me know so I can give them the sack or the retention. <laughs> you know, <laughs> we can't lower the standard. We can never lower the standard. The standard is too high now. Amen. We, we can never forget what we are doing when we come to stand here. We have to be alert. Praise God. Hallelujah. We love you all. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go from this place with this confidence and assurance, knowing that Christ in you is the hope of glory. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord give you peace on every side. The Lord cause you to be the head and not the tail. Go from this place with this confidence and assurance, knowing that you are a solution to the nations. We love you. God bless you. We'll see you.